Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about my September empties. So I feel like I only just did an empties but this entire box is literally full. There are a couple of really big products in here which is contributing to the gigantic fullness but I'm going to get it done and I'm going to be quick about it because otherwise my empties videos just end up being like 15 minutes long. So let's start off with an easy one. These are all of the masks that I got from Beautique for the May and the June bag, not the July one as of yet. And if you guys want to hear my thoughts on all of these masks, then I will link the Beautique reviews down in the description box below. There's quite a few of them, so I don't really want to go through all of these, otherwise it will take forever. I also have masks from Korean Kiwi Beauty, and again, I will link that video down below so you can hear my mask thoughts for all of these ones as well, I particularly enjoyed using the Beyond Garden Herb Peony Mask. I think that one smelled amazing and it made my skin really, really bright. That was definitely my favorite out of the bunch. And for the masks that I purchased myself, I finished up one of the Vanillico Mist Flower and Mr. Honey Hydrogel Mask Sheets. And this one was lovely, it was fun to use, and there was heaps of essence, which I liked. My skin loves the essence but it's so expensive. It is ridiculously expensive for what you get. I do not believe that this purchase paid itself off, basically. I don't believe that I got the value out of the product, so I wouldn't repurchase it, but it still smells amazing, and I like the cream from this line as well, not the essence oil. I didn't like that. I also finished off my Lululun 7 Day Masks. It's not actually like a 7 Day product. There are actually seven masks that come in this little resealable package. The reason that I chose these and wanted to try them was because all of the masks get put into this package so you have a lot less wastage in terms of your mask usage. One of the things that I don't like about sheet masking is the insane amount of waste it produces because each mask generally has a backing paper and also its own packet. Whereas these ones don't have backing papers and they only come in one packet which is substantially better for the environment. You're still throwing out the actual sheet mask itself which is still wasteful but it reduces the waste substantially. I really liked the masks, they moisturized. A little bit of brightening, not too much, but beautifully moisturizing and they fit. Okay, nothing really fits my face very well because I have a very, very high nose. So I always have to like trim the nose off and sometimes the upper lip because the proportions of my face are not generally the mask proportions, but they, they fit fine, they stayed on my face. Next, I have some more mask empties technically. So these are the Cosirex Acne Pimple Master Patches as well as the Next Care Patches. And I think I've talked about both of these before. I definitely prefer the Cosirex Patches over the Next Care, which is why I have two empties of that and three full-size products left, because they are stickier. So they actually stay on my face, especially if I have pimples around my mouth, which I generally do because I have hormonal acne, which is around my mouth and chin, sometimes on my cheeks. Um, so I definitely prefer the Cosirex ones over the Next Care. I also finished off a bunch of samples. So for the deluxe sized ones, I had a Holy Snails Snowbang, which didn't do anything for my skin, sadly. I would not purchase the full size. I have a Swanee Coco Peptide Nutrition Cream, which my skin liked. Not enough for me to spend, I think it's almost $100 for a full size, but I enjoyed using it. I finished off my Clarins by Serum, the Hydra Quench Intensive Serum. This one is loaded with silicon and glycerin, so it makes your face feel really smooth, but it doesn't do anything substantial. So this one came as a deluxe mini with a purchase of the lip products. I wouldn't repurchase this full size because it just doesn't do anything. The same with the Sim37 Low Sec Therapy Night Gold Ampoule. I got 10 sample sachets of these as my S point from Tester Courier because I was just very curious about it. It did nothing for my skin would not repurchase a full size. Whereas on the other hand, I tried only one, only one sample sachet of the Paula's Choice Resist Skin Revealing Body Lotion with 10% AHA. I used this on my arms to combat some of the keratosis polaris that I have there or the chicken skin. And this works really beautifully and I want to try it out. I'm gonna try using my Cosirex AHA first because that is a substantially cheaper product but it's got less AHA in it. So this is a potential purchase for me. I love minis. Like I would only buy one out of all of these. So therefore I didn't waste very much money on it. I also have some contact lens empties. So I finished up the Geologica One Day Unique Magic Color Soft Contact Lenses in Blue Gray. I really enjoyed these. These are the 
biggest one day contact lenses that I've come across at 14.5 millimeter. Um, I usually wear quite a lot of 15.5 millimeter lenses, um, but they only come in monthly or yearly lenses, which I don't like. At the moment, I'm using O lens, which are only 14.2, so they're not as enlarging. These ones looked great didn't really feel great. They're not contact lenses that I would wear for a substantial amount of time. I only use these for recording videos because they just were quite scratchy. So I would probably repurchase them again for video purposes, but I wouldn't go outside in them because they're just so uncomfortable. I have a lot of skincare empties for this month. I don't know how or why, I just do. So the first one is the Stridex Maximum Pads. I didn't like these because they gave me closed comedones on my forehead, which is the most susceptible place to getting them. Basically, you can feel the texture of your skin, but nothing ever comes to a head on it. Um, it's really frustrating. These are just a BHA pad, and although they worked really nicely for the rest of my face, not something I would repurchase because it does break out my forehead. I also finished my Jdu Green Moist Toner as well as a mini size of the toner while I was on holiday recently. I like this, it smells nice, but after trying some other toners recently, it's no longer my favourite toner on the market because it's too lightweight. As well as the Hada Labo Shirojin Lotion. This one I liked, not enough to repurchase it. I've tried the Gokujin Light Lotion, which Again, I liked it, but not enough to repurchase it. So I really want to try the regular Gokujin lotion because it's a holy grail for so many princesses, but like it's fine. It just, it's just like a hydrating toner basically. For serums, I finished off two serums. I finished the Benton Snail Bee High Content Essence, which I have reviewed the last month. I believe that was in July no, August, and although it was nice to use, it was lightly hydrating, it absorbed nicely, I really didn't see any skincare benefits other than hydrating, and I can get that effect from a toner that is much cheaper. Also, this bottle is tiny, and it took me less than a month to finish. On the other hand, my current love story with I'm From Ginseng Serum, I finished this, and I miss it so much. This one was sent to me for review, and I know people are always skeptical with products that were specifically sent for review, but it's empty. I love it. I want to repurchase it, but I've just got the Magnolia one from It's Skin, so I really want to see if the Magnolia one is just as good. So I want to see if it's the brand that I like or just the ginseng. Continuing with the skincare theme, I finished up the Skin Food Rose Shake Point Makeup Remover. This was really lovely, and I actually scored this for $1.50 US dollars, which was totally worth it. Smells like roses, takes off my makeup. However, it is no longer $1.50. Um, if it goes back down to that price, I'll totally buy like five more of them because it's good. Um, but for now, I'm trying some other things. I also finished up the Cozy Soft Emo Deep Cleansing Oil. I use this to remove my face makeup any sunscreen on my skin as well as deep cleansing my hair so I actually put the oil in my hair before I have a shower and it helps with any flaky skin so it just helps to nourish it and just get rid of it a little bit easier. I really liked this. Will I repurchase it? I didn't like it that much. It's a cleansing oil um, but it was really good while I had it. For some of the little weird skincare things I finished off the Seracle Eye Contour Gel I thought this was fine, it was nice during the day, I don't miss it now that I'm not using it though, so it's not a product I would repurchase. And one of the Lush Lip Scrubs, this is the Kiss, and it took me so long to finish that popcorn lip scrub, which stayed totally fine throughout the entire, I think like, five years that I had it, um, that I'd bought this prematurely. So this one expired last year, so it's just like a couple months over its expiry, but I can't use it because it's got these really cute little confetti hearts in it. The confetti hearts have kind of melted and they make the formula of this really sticky so I can exfoliate my lips. It smells kind of funky too. But then like there's a coating on my lips that I need to use like a flannel to scrub off and it's really hard to get the coating off. I think the coating is from the hearts, but the hearts are throughout the formula. So this entire lip scrub has to go in the bin because it doesn't work and it smells off so I'm not going to put that near my mouth. I finished off two sunscreens, one of which now feels like it is leaking which is super gross. I finished off the Biore UV Perfect Milk, really liked it, did give me a slight white cast though. I also finished off the Sunkiller Perfect Strong Plus. Now this is probably one of my favourite sunscreens so far. It's got that milky formula, goes on nicely, absorbs quickly, doesn't pilt, and it doesn't have a white cast. 
or at least it doesn't on me. Obviously I am very pale, so it's hard to tell if I have a white cast. So if I say I've got a white cast with something, it's gonna be pretty bad if you've got darker skin than me. So this is something that I probably would repurchase. I'd probably repurchase this again, to be honest. Both of them were good. Just less white cast with this one, so it'd be great for summer. I also finally finished off another one of the Clarins Moisture Replenishing Lip Balms with Essential Rose Wax. These are my Holy Grail lip balms. I keep repurchasing them. I love them. They are a little bit more on the expensive side, but for me, with my parched lips, they are totally worth it. I finished off the last of my Beauty Blender Cleanser. Well, almost. It's in a pump bottle, so I've got a little bit left. This is good. It's nice, it cleans my brushes, but it is expensive and it works just like the Daiso one that is $3. So in the future, I will probably purchase the Daiso one and just get like five bottles of that to fill up my pump bottle rather than paying so much money for this because it is expensive. Two hair care products I finished off were the Fudge Clean Blonde Violet Toning Shampoo. So if you guys didn't know, my natural color is this, which is very, very dark brown, almost black, but the bottom half of my hair is a lot lighter. So there are some patches that need more bleach. So around my face especially, that's quite orange for me. But the rest of the hair is like an ashy blonde kind of color. And like a slight balayage. We're getting there. It'll be re-bleached again. So I use a blonde toning shampoo to keep this from going this sort of orange again. So the color comparison is a little bit different. And there are some sections that are substantially lighter as well. It's kind of difficult to tell. Um, but the fudge one works really well, but it does make my hair very dry, so I have switched to two different types of blonde shampoo, and I've got hair all over my face, which is going to annoy me. So I tried the Fanola one last week, which is absolutely fantastic, doesn't get rid of the orange though, and it is quite stripping. And I also tried the Angel one, I don't really know the brand name other than Angel, which is also really, really good and really gentle, so I don't think I'd repurchase the fudge. I also kind of finished off a heat protectant. This one is from Juice, which is J-U-U-C-E, and they tell me that it's spelt and pronounced like juice, but sure. This is Iron Smooth. It smells like peaches, which is lovely, but the pump top, quite frankly, sucks. So there's actually this much product left in the bottle of hair, but I can't get to it because the pump won't pump it out anymore, and it's just really frustrating because, like, there's product in there, but because it's a spray, and it's meant to be finely misted across your hair. I can't just like tip it on with my hands and rub it in. It's, it's wasteful. Wouldn't purchase again. My last empties are makeup. So I have an empty of the Dolly Wink Brown Liquid Eyeliner. This one isn't even empty, but I've had it for four years at least. Um, and it is an eye product that's starting to get on the gross side. I don't really want to get conjunctivitis or pink eye, so that's going in the bin. Although I do love it and would repurchase it because I do enjoy a nice brown eyeliner. And my final empty is the Innisfree Long Wear Cushion in the shade 11. So, actually, this isn't even the Long Wear Cushion. This is the Moisture Intense Ampoule in the shade 13. And this one, it was fine, it was fine, it was fine. And then all of a sudden it started to get really, really, like chunky and it started to break up on my skin so I think the formula was just starting to get too old so there is a little bit of product left in there that it's not worth using because it doesn't look good on my skin and it's in the old packaging so I can't reuse this cushion compact again for anything so the whole component is just going to be thrown out and there we have it that is all of my empties for the month of September September. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I finished up, what things that I liked, disliked, and things that I would repurchase or will just leave in the trash. But thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!